If you're looking for the best seat cushion for sciatic pain, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to go through a bunch of different seat cushions and explain you exactly what can be helpful for your case and as well as some features that you can use in order to get rid of sciatic pain or at least make it milder. My name is Artem, I'm the founder of Posturing.com store where we stock different types of seat cushions as well as some ergonomic chairs and other related products that help people stay in more comfort and work with more productivity. Uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. Before we jump, however, in the review, I kindly ask you to please um, consult with your doctor if you're looking for specific treatment options because I'm by no means I'm not a doctor and what I'm doing here, I'm just reviewing sick cushions uh, that, will, that might help you or might not help you out. So please do not treat my review as a medical advice. Uh, because it's not okay now we've got this out of the way let's get to the cushions so with sciatic pain and I personally experienced sciatic pain even though it wasn't crazy um, crazy problematic in my case because I would always do a bunch of exercises and will kind of go away I know what it can feel like and I, I can I imagine how this pain can travel down your leg and then the sciatic nerve flared up can flare up and, and everything so <sighs> Well, the problem here is that there is no one-way solution for this. So sometimes a seat cushion of certain size and shape can help some people, whereas on the other occasions it can hold, not help um, other people, you know, with the same kind of symptoms, same kind of pain, sciatic nerve, and so on and so forth. So it's very important that you kind of, you, you can try things and then make sure that you also Look for other solutions if this specific thing doesn't work for you. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way as well, let's get to the cushions finally. The first seat cushion is this memory foam seat cushion. What it does is that for sciatic nerve pain, um, a lot comes from incorrect posture. So if you're sitting with a poor posture, your lower back can be not in place, and then there's this misalignment, and then this nerve impingement happens, and then it kind of sends this poor, uh, painful signal down your leg. Um, this seat cushion can help with this for sure, because what it does is that in front, this part is much narrow, uh, much thinner than this bit at the back. See like the difference here, it's, it's like this, and here it's like this, okay? So big difference. So essentially you're sitting in a bit of a, there's a bit of an in incline, okay? And when that happens, you almost kind of start sitting in a much better posture automatically. And this simple change can have a profound effect on your posture and on your pain levels as well, because now you're sitting with better posture and you might experience a lot less pain and uh, issues with the sciatic, uh, sciatic nerve. So this is when the seat cushion can really help. What also, what, what's also really cool about this seat cushions is unlike all the other seat cushions I'm gonna look, um, look at in a moment, this one is like a docking station for a toothbrush. You almost kind of place yourself in there and then you're kind of locked in the middle. Okay, so it's got these edges on the sides. So you're sitting like in a, a sports car um, seat, you know, so it's kind of like, it has you from different ends, like sides, at the back as well, in front with this bit here. So you're almost like feeling like you're in it, you know, it's kind of hugging your lower body, which is really good for some people. For example, my girlfriend, she was, um, she had this accident when she fell and she kind of broke her tailbone. So she needed something that would keep her in like one place. I don't know if it's the right way to say it, but that's what it was. And she picked this kind of seat cushion, okay? She used this specific seat cushion for a long, long time until she healed and was able to sit without additional support. Um, what's not really, this, this seat cushion is made out of memory foam, okay? And softer kind of memory foam. So it's not like crazy dense. So it's really important that you know this because at times this bit here can cause problems because people, once you sit for a while and then it happens on any seat cushions, on any office chair, it doesn't matter what it is, but it just happens. You start slouching, yeah. You kind of go like down like this or you start sliding off the chair. So you kind of go, and that's normal, that happens. With this seat cushion, if it's out of denser memory foam, this bit here can start pressing against your sacrum on lower back and cause, it can start causing some issues as well. So it can become painful. Doesn't happen with a seat cushion because the memory foam is pretty soft. Yeah, so once you, it's not an issue. So you kind of can uh, lie on it and it will not cause um, those painful sensations. So uh, with sciatica, 
it's also very important to take care of the of the lower back so this bit here does this um, apart from this this execution has got a cool handle you can take it with you like this carry it around um, anti-skid surface and I say it in every video like skid cushions do not really slide off yeah so the anti-skid surface anti-slippery surface is more like a, a gimmicky kind of thing but it's worth mentioning all of the seat cushions again you can remove the uh, seat cover throw it in the washing machine give it a quick wash and you'll be just fine with a fresh new um fr <laughs> newly fresh it's a better way to put it a seat cover so that's why it's really really good like this all in all great seat cushion um check it out i hope it can help you the next seat cushion in line i'm sorry the next seat cushion in line is this foam seat cushion yeah so it helps to reduce what it, what it does is that um, it helps to reduce strain on the lower back muscles yeah so and if strain if lower back muscles are under less strain then the pain um, to sciatic nerve might not travel as in, intensely yeah? so again you kind of help to reduce pain like this um, it's another great option. So if, especially if you're struggling with other symptoms like say hemorrhoids or postpartum or any injury or any post -op like operation that you might have in the uh, bottom bump kind of area, then this can be very helpful. It also has these indentations for groin and tailbone. Yeah, so again, any tailbone issues or anything with your groin like it helps to reduce this pressure uh, pressure as well from from those parts that is really really good and i really like it because of this um this seat cushion is actually unisex so you can pick it for if you're if you're a guy or a girl you can definitely take it you will most likely really like it because uh it's made out of this foam material so it's not memory foam and i'm going to show you this one real quick so check out the the speed at which it bounces back so pressing it down bam pressing it down so it's like immediate that's the fast rebound foam okay so just press it down it's like a sofa in a way so it feels nice and soft but it's not necessarily um it doesn't necessarily adjust your body um shape as well so it kind of kind of presses goes down whereas memory foam this is the cushion out of memory foam you press it down and it takes a while to go back press it down see the difference so that's that's really the difference so again my girlfriend really likes this seat cushion because it's nice and soft you kind of sit in it and it's like a sofa it feels really really good i actually like it as well because it kind of it feels kind of i don't know if light is the correct way to say it, it kind of feels light on your lower part you know you're kind of sitting down and you don't feel a lot of uh memory foamness whereas memory foam it kind of helps to stay more in one place and this seat cushion you can kind of fiddle on it and uh, you know kind of move back like move forward move front so you kind of play with it a little bit so that's it's really like a lazy memory foam really like proper like normal foam but again like both cushions are great so now that I've covered this one slightly, I'm going to talk a bit about its features. Unlike the other, like the previous seat cushion, this one has actually um, different features for guys and girls. This is a female version. So if you're a female struggling with sciatica, this is the seat cushion for you potentially. Yeah, because it's got this bit here in the groin area. So it's got this little bump, which is not um, present in male version yes so in male version it looks more like this yeah so it's cut out and you kind of have this bit here um just like the first seat cushion that i talked about it has these differences in terms of thickness here in the front and here at the back much thinner in front much thicker at the back again you end up with this sort of incline which uh, which allows you to sit with a much better posture without much effort and that is really really good again because it helps you once you have a better pro, pro posture your lower back is feeling much better again so sciatica sciatic nerve pain might go away i'm saying might because again every case is different and in some cases like it's impossible to re reduce uh their problem without an operation so you have to be really really uh, careful with this and just again consult with your doctor always so 
in terms of coccyx uh, area, tailbone area, this sea cushion doesn't have a significant indentation in this part, even though it does have something, but it's not enough for quite a lot of people. Yeah, so if you also have some issues with coccyx area, coccyx pain or tailbone pain, this is a much better option because it's much wider. Yeah, so it's really, really, really much wider. That's pretty much it. This one is memory foam, as, no, as I mentioned before. So once you sit on it, it kind of adjusts your body shape, lower body shape, and keeps you in a very, very good position. Next on the list is another donut seat cushion. Um, this one is a firmer seat cushion made out of memory foam and gel. So if you're a bigger guy or girl, and by bigger, I mean if you weigh more than 200 pounds or around 85, 90 kilos, then this might be a, an option for you because it's made out of a combination of memory foam and gel. That's what it looks like on the inside. So this gel bit, it kind of makes everything firmer. Yeah, so it brings everything together. Um, it also kind of provides a bit of a cooling effect. So you kind of sit in it and it feels a little cooler, even through the mesh, yeah. And it's got those little tiny bumps, which are not real, they do not have like a lot of benefit the idea is that they kind of massage your lower uh, like your bum area so you, you, your blood flow kind of improves in that area and then you feel less tired with time but truth be said it doesn't do much so not really not really the best option out there but other than that i really like this seat cushion because it feels like so quality the mesh cover itself is really really good um it's 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 really good it looks really good it's very it's as breathable as it can get for the mesh cover you can kind of see through uh see through it a little bit the quality of the seams is great uh the handle is here also like you can carry it around like it's pretty like it's probably the heaviest of the donut seat cushions that we have um again anti-slippery surface surface as if it mattered uh all in all great option so same idea as with the foam seat cushion the first one but it's kind of memory foam so it feels a little bit more like again so i'm pressing it down and it takes a while you cannot see it here but it takes it takes a while to kind of go back and uh, but just for heavier guys and girls okay the next option is this standard um seat cushion it's also called um u-shaped seat cushion because it looks like this okay and i'm looking at you from this cut out for coccyx area, the tailbone area. So if you have issues with coccyx, that's probably the best option out there. So like the, the other seat cushions, it helps to reduce the tension, the strain on your lower back, which again might help with the reduction of um, sciatic nerve pain. And um, this is something as well you can test for. So what's really, um, the idea is kind of similar in a way. So. Again, slightly thinner at the back, slightly thicker, um, sli slightly thinner in the front, slightly thicker in the back. So that's the that's the idea. Um, all in all, good seat cushion, memory foam, pretty lightweight. You can uh, squeeze it like this if you want to carry it with you somewhere. Um, you can leave it in the car. However, be careful because it can have a, a bit of an effect. So if your if your ceiling is too close in the car you might kind of bump into it because it's relatively thick. Once you sit down on it, it gets thinner, of course, but again, like make sure that the, that the thickness is all right, that you'll be fine there in the car. Uh, one thing that people do not like about this model, not, not all, yeah, not everybody, but like some people, is that this type of thin, it's not really great with bigger guys and girls because it tends to press in the groin area, especially for guys. Yeah, it tends to press in this groin area and it might not be as comfortable for them um, given the um, just given the, the given the situation let's put it this way hey, it's also one of the wider seat cushions out there so it's like if you look at it if you compare the sizes so you can see it's kind of slightly wide oh, I'm not even holding it straight it's kind of slightly wider yeah so you can see it's sticking out uh, slightly but all in all it's a it's a it's a good option yeah so it can help with sciatic nerve pain so maybe check this one out as well last but not least is this gel seat cushion it's also called the exeter I personally love it the most because you can use it anytime even if you don't have any sort of issues yeah 
uh, because it helps to reduce strain in the lower back a lot. Even though it's very thin, yeah, you can take it, you can, it's easily transportable. You can roll it like this, take it with you. This specific one is a year and a half old and I've been using it pretty extensively. And as you can see, there are no signs of wear and tear. Maybe the color is slightly different, but all in all, it's very, very good. The honeycomb structure allows for that um, strain to kind of leave the lower back because it takes, the, it kind of starts bouncing um, instead of your muscles working. So if you're sitting on a hard surface, yeah, then your lower back muscles need to be working in order to compensate for that hard surface, yeah. But if you have something like this, something bouncy, something like jelly like this, surface, then you're sitting on it and your lower back muscles need to work less because now you have this then working for you instead. Okay, so it's really, really good like this. So that's the, that's, that's, uh, that's the jealousy cushion uh, as it is. Other than that, there's no real practical use in it. Um, I mean, you don't need to wash it very often and it comes, actually comes with a seat cover, but I never have the seat cover because it looks really nice like this. And I like the massaging effect of the seat, uh, of the, of the honeycomb cells. Yeah, so once you sit in it, it almost kind of massages your bum from the bottom and it feels kind of nice because you get this blood flow floating there and uh, you kind of feel less tired with time as well. At least it's in my case. So I might be, um, I might be experiencing something no one else does, but <laughs> I doubt this. So all in all, a great seat cushion uh, that can help out, help you out with the sciatic nerve pain. Guys, I hope this video has been useful. Um, I understand what kind of a pain it can be, sciatic nerve pain. I have, as I, as I said myself, I have struggled with myself. I had a friend who unfortunately had to do the operation. Yeah, but now he's doing much better, but he's still, even after operation, he's still having some issues with the sciatic nerve pain. So if I'm truly honest, you have to look after yourself um, and really take care of yourself in terms of like doing some physical exercises and physical activity. It's really, really important because sitting all day, no matter if you have sick cushion, if you don't, you have to do exercises, okay? Because we have to, um, as human beings, we have to really go out there and uh, look after ourselves so we can stay healthy, um, beautiful as long as possible for ourselves and for our, our loved ones. So please look after yourselves. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in this video below and I'll be there to help you out. Till next time, thank you very much.